Thank you very much indeed and welcome everyone to this uh, conference. Uh, we are always happy that there is uh, demand for, for the, the, the services that the ESPON program may may deliver and as many of you probably are not aware that we are existent, I would like to give a few words about, about ESPON, although we are very often attempted to uh, say Epson instead of ESPON, so we need to be really cautious about, <laughs> about our name. Um, we've been existent for, well, basically almost 20 years. Next year we are going to um, share with you and celebrate with you the 20 years of the ESPON program. And uh, we are a new funded program, as you might be aware, that um, goes across many sectoral policies, many research fields, all over Europe, as Martin was saying. And all over Europe means not only the EU countries, but also uh, four partner states, um, Iceland, Norway, Switzerland and Liechtenstein. And also more and more, we are interested in the uh, situation on the uh, EU external borders. So to what extent the certain territorial trends, challenges, patterns, uh, the distribution of, of certain uh, processes in the space um, is or could be uh, uniformized so that we can have the policies that respond equally to what's going on inside, but also a bit outside the European Union. So that uh, at the end, uh, these policies actually take note of what's going on in and around our territories. Um, we are um, a program that connects stakeholders, uh, researchers and also practitioners in many uh, thematic fields. Uh, we are particularly interested in seeing that the, the effects of administrative borders and, and certain governance uh, stuck on the borders is minimized as much as possible. So we are full enthusiasts of the holistic approach, cross-sectoral approach, multi-level governance, and also the territorial dimension. And I do believe this territorial dimension is something that we would like also to inspire you with during these events, uh, based on uh, the results of some ESPON projects. And there are going to be uh, two of those projects presented later today. One is the project called Locate, dealing with the uh, territories and low carbon economy. Then the other one is the escape touching upon a very interesting process of shrinking rural areas in Europe. We claim that the shrinking process is inevitable. We need to simply take note of that, adjust our policies to the process, not to counteract the shrinking. And also that we need to understand uh, what kind of categories exist so that we apply yet another phrase we like very much, place-based policies. And finally, we also last year prepared uh, an ESPON policy brief dedicated to structural change in coal phase out regions. So all in all, we are offering you our assistance in, in understanding the certain challenges related with the structural change, the needs for a holistic approach, how to manage this transition towards the uh, low carbon economy, so hopefully there will be many takeaways from that event and we uh, from the ESPON team will be very glad to assist both the, 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 the policy stakeholders but also many researchers in bringing this territorial perspective into, into, your, into your works uh, in the future. So uh, as mentioned, uh, the program is going to consist in, in three specific sessions. The first one uh, will be dedicated to the uh, specific uh, nature and magnitude of structure and social consequences of decarbonization. Uh, well, certain examples will be given on how the different areas cope with the, the energy transition questions. Then the second one is a very important uh, issue of uh, SDG goals and how to integrate these goals in spatial planning based on examples from the specific countries and specific uh, regions as well. And then the third one that we are going to share with you some most important outcomes of the, uh, the projects and initiatives that I just uh, mentioned over to you. 
So uh, we wish you very good, very fruitful discussion. Hopefully you can stay with us, although October is very busy because of many uh, events that very often compete with each other. But we do hope that you will find this event really uh, interesting, really inspirational for your work with the, uh, the policies and also research on territorial development. Thank you very much.